heard that men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Well, it turns out this could really be true. A new study confirms that men and women's brains really are wired differently. And it could be why some couples really have a lot of trouble communicating with one another. And this morning, we brought in our relationship power panel. We have marriage counselor Rick Brown, <laughs> along with life coach Jen Lee. Thank you both so much for being here Great this morning. To Great to see you, Rick, as always, yeah. Jen. Nice oh, yeah. to be here. Uh, let's start with this, Rick. You know, everybody's maybe heard of the book by now, uh, The Love Languages, how people will communicate differently. Uh, it says we're wired differently. Is that really true? What do you see in your practice? Well, you know, it, it, it may be true that we're wired differently, but we actually, as a species, are mo much more alike than we are different. Uh, and uh, as much as those studies, we, the jury's still out on how much of this is hardwired, how much of it is nature, how much of it is really nurtured in the way we were raised. So uh, girls very often, for example, get a doll. And what do they do with the doll? They hold it, they talk to it, they comfort it, they nurture it. Men are given soldiers. And so we, <laughs> we go out and we plan and we plot and we conquer and we dominate and build forts and solve problems. So who so knows? How do we do a better job of trying to meet in the middle, Jen? Mm -hmm. What do you do? So it's really about communication. And we really aren't that far apart when it comes to communication. As you looked at the study, you know, we all want to be respected. We want to be heard. We want to feel like uh, we're being trusted, all of that. So in our communication style is where the breakdown really happens. So men are very like, you know, in boxes. Don't call them and try to have a serious conversation when they're at work or they're watching the game. Nothing's going to happen. And we women, we seem to think that um, once we've had the conversation, we need to have it a couple of more times just to make sure that <laughs> they heard. Like, did you hear me? You know, I, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and in reality, that it doesn't help. So men have already moved on. I'm sorry. I'm, you know, or whatever the uh, end result of the uh, conversation is. So women, we need to just kind of calm down and let it go. And men, y'all just need to listen. <laughs> well, and go ahead, Rick. Go she, ahead. She's doing it right now. Yeah. They, exactly. they use a lot of words sometimes to say something that many men would just say in two words See, Right. And that's what's funny about this study <laughs> is that it showed when they did the brain scans that right. it, when you're talking to a man, it's only resonating in either the right or the left hemisphere. Right. Mm -hmm. Women, it was scanning all over the place. Maybe that helps us explain, hey, if you're going to talk to a guy, it's got to be A, B, C, D, or we're right. not going to follow. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's for, true. Freud once said, I, I, I I had a few words with my wife the other night, but she had a few paragraphs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. true. You know, I think one of the things that we can do, though, is we can learn to do this differently. Like, if we could just live by the principle, uh, because we tend to be reactive creatures, if we could quiet that reactive brain and, and say to ourselves, I want to seek first to understand before being understood. Mm -hmm. In other words, I want to take the time to really hear from you and make sure I really understand where you're coming from before I go into telling you what I think. I need uh, Rick to come to my house <laughs> <laughs> immediately. And, and to realize there are, we really don't need to fix. There are very few problems in life that really need to be fixed. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that need to be listened to, mm -hmm. to be understood. And Jim, we could listen a whole lot better if you just didn't have so many adjectives and, <laughs> and all the other I stuff. I get it. You, don't, you can't comprehend or communicate all that together. I get that. It's hard for you to put it all together. See, you try. <laughs> but that, come on, Ken. But that is I'll why write you a note. <laughs> okay, good. But that's why it is important to just say back what I think I just heard her saying mm -hmm. uh, so she can feel like hey, he was listening he was trying to understand me he was trying to get it and that's how you will help deepen that connection with each other so men y'all just listen a little bit more repeat back to us so that we understand that you did listen and women we need to let it go we need to say what we need to say understand they have their space and that they actually have feelings as well which was something that I didn't know men had for many many years and Rick has confirmed men do have feelings we just that's need why he's here they just say it differently and that's okay but you know I have a brother who's a physician and he once said to me, how do you do what you do all day long? I said, well, what's that? He said, how do you listen to problems mm. all day long? Mm. He said, if I had to do that, I'd shoot myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because as a physician, he just x-rays it, snaps it, wraps right. it, and they're Done. gone. Yep. Well, I had to think about that. And I realized a long time ago, I stopped listening to problems. I just started listening to people. Mm. Hmm. And when That's you good. think about listening to people and think about them as like a novel, you know, like every good novel, you have your exciting chapter, your scary chapter, your sexy chapter, your, oh my God, what's going to happen chapter? And what a privilege it is, if you think about that, that somebody wants to come in and share their novel. That's and, so true. And if I can just get interested and get curious and want to hear more about that, that's how we will deep, deepen the connection. Well, listen, Good this stuff. is a fascinating discussion. Good Rick, stuff, as guys. Always, stop. Thank you, thank you, Dudley, as always. Thanks, you guys, for coming in this morning. <laughs>